Okay, so now for and I each going to show you two of our favorite TikToks. This one, uh, one of my favorites, also happens to be our most viewed TikTok. Um, and it was a story that, as it says, spanned many generations. Basically, everyone had an opinion on it, which doesn't hurt with TikTok, and it had a bunch of Easter eggs in it. When I say Easter eggs, I mean it could just be details in the background, it could be references to previous TikToks. But my favorite thing about those, which is probably true amongst TV shows and movies as well, is about 30% of the audience understands the joke, but to me that's even better. And as long as it's not affecting the rest of the TikTok, people are really into it when they're like, I understand that reference, you know, can't compare to me. So, uh, one of the other part of this too, was that at this point we still haven't even met each other. I think this TikTok is from early February, and we've been TikTok together, Carmelo for at least a couple months, Chris and I for eight months, and still haven't met him, which is why Chris here looks kind of large next to Carmelo. <laughs> Actually, he's Carmelo's height, and, and like, it, the dimensions are off, but we were able to work with it, and I think that actually is really fun with TikTok, that you can embrace the green screen and really have fun with that part, which you'll see after this slide. But uh, the story was about how lunches were going to be stricter again. So they had made them strict in 2013, the Trump administration made them loose again, allowed for fatty milk and all other kinds of things, and the Biden administration came back and basically reinstated the old rules. And right there I thought, well, you know what, I think that's our plot device. I like TikToks that have a beginning, middle, end, and that strikes me as a beginning, middle, end type of TikTok. I also had to consider, is this going to be something where I use an original sound on TikTok that people, like a trending sound that people are using, you know, like my money don't jiggle jiggle, for instance, would be one. <laughs> or do I write an original script? Or do I find an old sound? My go-to, which I've told Carmelo before, is if I can't think of anything, I just go look up the office sounds. <laughs> <They> just, <laughs> I just use those. Those are never trending, but everyone always gets the joke. So that's my backup. If you ever see an office TikTok in the post account, it means like, I have no idea. It's not taking. So I, I figured, you know, I can do an original script here. Again, I had the plot device of the different years. And there was one other aspect when I was writing the script, which is like, I'm gonna put Carmel and Chris in high school for this whole decade. <laughs> and why would two people live in high school for a decade? But actually that made it funny. We just kind of committed to it and people in the comments really like that. You'll see that TikTok uh, soon. You'll understand what I'm talking about. The other part that we have to consider, especially when we're shooting these remotely, uh, Chris was the first person to bring this up to me when we were shooting TikToks together. He's like, why am I always looking at the camera? Why are you always looking at the camera? Shouldn't we go looking like slightly to our right or left? And I was like, that's right. I was a film studies minor, I shouldn't have been. <laughs> so we started doing that. Another thing Chris said one day was like, I know we're getting audio from the phone, but like maybe we should have mics. I was like, you're right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we were doing lighting the whole time, but we had to make, make sure our, our lighting looks similar. Uh, and when it doesn't, I try to use some color direction. But you'll see here with the green screen, we also shoot it in 4K. So that shrunk down a little bit. Uh, it allows me to kind of maneuver myself more if I need to, and then I can add background stuff. You can see the Michelle Obama poster that I photoshopped in the background. <laughs> um, you can see that I added, I basically photoshopped the foreground, the background, all different things going on here. So that's the before and after of that. And it actually is really fun. People really like when you layer these things in. And that's what this looks like. So this is just the timeline for that TikTok. And uh, that's not even the largest. I mean, you'll see Carmelo's later. They can be even bigger. Layers upon layers. You can see the Easter eggs. You can see some of these these uh, file titles right here uh, that indicate what those are going to be. More color correction in there as well, so it gets pretty complicated pretty quickly, but it's always worth it. Got some healthier meals for you. Ooh, yeah. you got a problem? Take it up with Michelle Obama. What's your Snapchat? Hey kids, the Trump administration reversed all those rules, so here's some milk with fat again. Yeah, yeah. Hey kids, we're doing healthy food again. Why? A government study found that you were all way healthier for the years we had healthy food. This sucks. Wait, why am I still in high school? <laughs> so sometimes you take that illogical part and you make it the punchline at the end. Again, clear beginning, middle, end. I don't know if you caught all the Easter eggs. The majority of them were just the posters. But the middle one, uh, there was this whole thing where President Trump used to eat a really, really overcooked steak with ketchup. So that's what the poster in the background is. <laughs> and that one, I think like 10% of the people got the joke. But the people that did were like, I get it, I understand. Um, and you'll start to see some of these comments. Uh, this one is interesting because we. A lot of times we put clarifying comments, but the story was pretty straightforward. But we do get a lot of questions in the comments, so we reply and we give a lot more information about what's actually going on with the story. So after we post the TikTok, that's half the job. There's so much more we have to do in informing our audience. You can see here where sometimes we post from our main account, and then we have we have one of us reply from our individual accounts, where Chris says he's trapped in that high school and he can't get out. Um, and the last thing we consider, which we did not do for this TikTok, is can this TikTok get a sequel? So can this, is there a, a continuing storyline or like if they're going to be another article about this. So we like to kind of live in the same world where 
if, for instance, there's another lunchroom story at one point here, we might actually bring back this setting and kind of cast them again as, as high schoolers and me as the lunch lady and see if we can do a sequel. But so far, a sequel has not come up. Now, here's a sample. Whenever I'm making TikToks like this and looking for trends, I'm always scrolling on TikTok with intention. I'm sure as you all know, TikTok is kind of a void and you can just kind of scroll into eternity. So whenever I'm doing something for work, I'm always looking for trends, I'm looking for sounds, I'm looking for music. Because we are a brand account, we're not allowed to use licensed music, but DJ mixes have been my best friend. They're one of my favorite things to use. Um, and I also, when I'm pairing that with a news story, I'm always looking for stories that are attention grabbing or have a broad impact, because those often get the most views. The last thing I make sure to keep in mind is how can I make a complex story both concise and accessible? Because the story is the most important part, especially when you're telling the news. So this next TikTok is an example of one I made yesterday when Roe vs. Wade was overturned. Supreme Court overturned Roe vs. Wade. Here's what this means. In 13 states, a trigger ban will take effect. They were designed to take effect as soon as Roe was overturned. In states without trigger laws like Alabama, Georgia, <coughs> Indiana, laws banning abortions will likely take effect in a few weeks. In states like Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan, abortion access will largely depend on midterm elections. If anti-abortion Republicans win their races, they'll have a clear path towards banning abortion access. There are many states that have laws explicitly protecting abortion rights. In these states, abortion will likely remain accessible. So these are two sides of the same coin of conveying a clear story. When I'm doing the more creative videos, the first thing I do is I clean my costumes. My costumes usually do some <laughs> um, And I saw this video, of, I'm just gonna play it right now, I'm over it, but this is not possible. It made me so mad. Like, you don't understand, I was furious, and I'm probably the only person. I collected a lot of pets when I was young, and I was like, how dare they? That video had four million likes, and it was completely false, and that one, in that case, is actually disinformation, because video editing was used to make you believe that you can stick candy up the beds and that it just loads that way or some insanity. Um, so this one, I actually saw it on TikTok, and then a day later I saw it on Reels, and then I saw it on Facebook, and I, it's, I said, you know what, we actually have to do something about this, and let's fact check it. And my favorite thing about this example, and it doesn't, it doesn't mean that we only do this, in fact, you'll see examples of much more hard-hitting news, but with this one, we can tell people it's fake, we can give them the tools to start looking for fake video edits, and no one was mad except for me. <laughs> so no, when you tell them, hey, you're wrong about posting this video, especially with Pez, they're not gonna have a reaction. They're not gonna have a strong emotional reaction. They have no tie to Pez. So in this case, I really like when we can take videos that people aren't gonna get emotionally charged about and tell them why it was actually not true. So here's the fact check. There's a in TikTok recently in which someone takes a fully wrapped stack of Pez candy and puts it in the bottom of a Pez dispenser and then it comes out fully unwrapped. <laughs> It's fake. There's a plastic bottom here that the candy would not be able to get around. I instantly knew this because I was a super cool and totally normal kid. <laughs> what about the other people that were also totally normal and cool kids that didn't see the obvious cut in that TikTok? Video in particular can be a very powerful vehicle for misinformation. And when it's something much more important than a pest dispenser, it can be really dangerous too. Here's some false claims that were made on the internet just last week. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> our editor insisted I put that last one in, which I said, well, fine, as long as people know the truth about this. Uh, go ahead. As Dave mentioned, media literacy is super important. So here's a TikTok that Chris did, answering an audience question at the start of the Ukrainian War, and while also sharing media literacy skills with the audience. With the audience. Last week, social media users posted photos of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in military guard. They said it showed him after Russia invaded Ukraine. The photos are real, but the captions are wrong. The miscaptioned photos were posted on Twitter and Facebook, which have now labeled some of them as misleading. On Facebook, one of these posts gained over 71,000 shares. Most of the photos were actually taken in December 2021, while Zelensky was visiting Ukrainian service members. We should always be matching images before sharing them, especially when information is changing so quickly and misinformation is spreading fast. To do that, right-click the photo on your computer, or pull down on the photo on your phone. Then, hit search Google for this image. The results should show you faction articles. If you want to make sure the photo was even taken after the invasion, 
you can search for photos up to a specific date. This will help you figure out when the photos were originally published. So this goes